Hey guys, in this session, we'll be uh, creating a VM using the Terraform scripts. Okay, so Terraform make our system into desired state. For example, if I say in AWS, right now I don't have any EC2 machine. Okay, so if I check it here, the, wait for a moment, sorry. Okay. So here our instances are zero. Using the Terraform script, we will be able to uh, create an instance, uh, EC2 instance, and uh, we will retrieve the IP also. Okay. So if in this, we need to go to a particular path, quick start AWS EC2. We are in this path. And here, there's a main TF file. In the variable TF file, we need to change the SSH key. Okay. So I'll be copying this particular SSH key as a variable okay yeah that's all we need to expose export the profile and uh, the next part is we need to run this three commands so we'll be uh, now from this step onwards I'll be using the git bash okay and uh, so I'll be going to this particular folder I'll be saying Terraform in it. Okay, I'll install the specific library and uh, wait for a moment. Okay, so our um, init plan, init script is done. Now uh, we'll be using the Terraform plan. Again, it will take some time. Yeah. Now we'll be using the Terraform apply okay again it takes a bit time Let's see. so we need to mention, mention this okay it will be creating a setup uh, the public IP path I'll be copying in my uh, this reference okay it's still creating yeah so these are public IP okay and the same thing you can verify it here also so if you do the refresh over here you should be wait uh, it will take some time maybe but uh, it should create an instance again we'll uh, revisit after some time so once we are having the IP now we need to um, we're logging to that particular system okay so for that we need to use this particular thing we need to give the private key path so we'll be giving this path i mean sorry not private key it's a yeah private key path and uh, we need to mention the public ip this is our public ip okay with that I should be able to log in to the system. Yes. And uh, let's see. Here also we'll verify whether it's launched. Nothing. Sorry. But I am able to log in. See the system. Let's see. Okay. Now we will be creating the cluster. Okay. So, because for um, the desert product is uh, using the Kubernetes uh, is defined using the Kubernetes cluster. So, in this, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a directory. And we'll be giving the permission. We'll be going to the folder. Okay. Path will be again noting it down. Okay. The next part is we should get the private IP. Okay. So again for private IP, these are private IP. Again, these are the like steps which we are doing to run this particular command. This is the command to create a cluster. So for this, again, we should need the private IP. 
so which we have already noted down here okay the public IP also we need to mention so which is again here okay and uh, home username queue so again this part we note it down home username so we can mention username as a open to okay yeah so this is the command which we need to run it and all the things we are running in we have yeah we need to paste it good let's see so it's creating a cluster the next step again will copy by the time it turns it we'll wait till it's get complete yeah so my this step is done then I'll be copying this okay and I'll run this part also okay we can verify the steps is in the class information it's showing it okay we can verify the other steps also now the next step is we need to copy this cube uh, config file to our local system okay so for that again i have noted down this step so which is the scp and uh, this part sorry no Just wait for a minute, let's see. Okay, so we need to copy and uh, we need to give the SSH key name now. So we'll be giving this path. Okay, so we'll be doing this particular thing SCP. So, yeah, let's see. Okay. Sorry, we need to come out of this um, VM. Okay, now if we fire this command and again public IP, we need to mention the public IP, which is this one. in our local system this particular file I'm going to directly copy in my Q folder Q file sorry okay that's my file I saved it and uh, now if I check my local cluster using this command find this file okay. so we'll be so we'll be copying at this path also we'll move it to root folder because we are in uh, no we are not in root folder just one minute we need to mention the path okay right see above so we'll be using the powershell just to make it fast okay. 
cpm get notes hopefully it should work something you see okay so sorry my bad i need to mention this way taking some time let's wait for some time hey guys one problem which we were doing is we were uh, like when we copied the file we need to change the IP this one is pub private IP and we need to make it as a public IP so I'll be copying this pasting it here right so even it's mentioned in the document same part copy Okay, and we need to uh, like normally I use the queue so open with notepad same thing right so let's see okay let's see working okay so now our cluster is ready the next part is deployment of this platform so we'll do it next session thank you